Of Waco is launching a new scooter mobility system in the downtown and East Waco area. The program ushers in 250 new scooters to various locations around the greater downtown area, but some businesses are raising concerns about how the new fleet will be managed. Six News reporter Mike Rogers explains. Last month, the city of Waco rolled out their super pedestrian scooter program functioning within the limits of downtown. But some business owners say that it will take rider responsibility to ensure the success of the program as the city brings in new bikes. 250 to be exact now scattered around downtown Waco. According to the city, they contracted with super pedestrian back in August for the program. In order to ride, riders have to scan the QR code, download the Super Pedestrian app, and pay $1 to activate the scooter, and 39 cents per minute to ride. Boundaries stretch from Herring Avenue to LaSalle and North 26th Street to East Waco Drive and New Dallas Highway. If the scooters are not parked where they belong, the ride company will be notified and employees will bring the scooters back to their designated parking positions. But businesses say that's just one issue. The scooters bring the problems and the issues come with people that are that are doing things in empty parking lots they shouldn't be or around cars that are parked in business parking lots so uh, if, if I as a business owner had a number one priority to say to the city would be as soon as they hit a parking lot they should be non-functioning because that's where all the problems are. May says that the concept of the scooter program works well in principle, but if they continue to be left in the middle of the street or on sidewalks or in parking lots like his own, he says that those in charge should be holding riders accountable. In Waco, Mike Rogers, 6 News.